Over the years, basketballs have changed, but one manufacturer still makes them the old-fashioned way. These laced brown leather balls honor the beginnings of the game. To make this traditional basketball, first eight panels are cut out of tough American cowhide. These are rough cuts, as their shape will now be more precisely defined. A sharp steel die is placed onto one of the panel pieces. Then using a clicker press, pressure is applied to the die to cut out the leather panel piece. Next, pieces of nylon are individually cut to a workable length. And a dozen of them are then stacked together. The stack is then cut to shape using the same die. Because nylon is softer than leather, many more pieces can be cut out at one time. One nylon piece is then stitched to the underside of a leather panel segment. For this job, a special sewing machine is used that has a heavy-duty cylinder arm to support the needle. The nylon backing stabilizes the leather, preventing stretching. Using a different die, lace holes and notches are punched into the nylon back leather panel. Then using a template, the point where the air valve will sit is marked. A punch is then used to create the hole for the valve. Next, a stamp of the company's logo is fitted into a heated press. As the stamp heats up, it's moved into position, and then a leather panel is slid beneath it. The now hot stamp is lowered, and it burns the company logo into the leather. It's now time to sew the basketball panels together. These are stitched with the nylon backing facing up, so the finished ball will be inside out. The stitching is done by hand using polyester thread. It's a skilled job, as one stitch in the wrong place means the panels would be ruined. Once joined, the thread is trimmed and the thick seam is pounded flat. On the two panels that will be laced together, vinyl reinforcements are sewn in to give these areas of the ball more structure. This stitching is also a design aspect, as it will frame the lace holes on the final ball, defining and accentuating the lacing. A second strip of vinyl is then added to one of these panels, which will protect the inflated bladder inside the finished ball. Each half of the basketball is assembled at a time, with the section around the lace hole left open to provide the entry point to insert the inflatable bladder. Next, the two halves are stitched together, again working with the casing inside out, and this completes the ball's outer shell. The basketball casing is then placed on a steel post, pulled and tugged to turn it the right side out. It's now time to insert the synthetic rubber bladder into the basketball casing. This is positioned so that the bladder's air valve lines up with the corresponding hole in the leather. Using needle nose pliers, the air valve is then pulled through the hole. After which, the inner flap is positioned so that it protects the bladder from the lacing. The bladder is then partially inflated to aid the next stage. Using a thick brass needle, rawhide sinew is pulled through the holes to neatly lace up the opening. basketball is then fully inflated. The pressure from the bladder holds the lacing in place. The end of the sinew is simply clipped and tucked into the ball. A replica of the original, this leather basketball is ready to bounce back.